just doing a little bit of neighborhood cleanup here. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. You want some more too? Come on. Let's go, buddy. Get some. What's attacking me over here? Oh, there's a bleed. All right. That seems to be everybody. All right, guys. Welcome back to Kabbalah's Empires. We're here on the Kabbalah's map had a little bit of a break doing some other videos doing some other things I also had to straighten out my visa for the year but you guys don't need to hear about my immigration worries today what we are doing in the game is I want to get my soul terminal and my soul gun from my dino storage mod uh, but in order to get this, we, we need to get into polymer. Uh, we need, basically, we need to just tech up. So what I'm thinking is, is let me just get back to base here. I was just clearing up some nuisances from around the base. Basically, this base is no longer big enough for us, right? So we need to expand this a bit. But instead of just, in lieu of building just another base here... Uh, I think I'm going to use some of the pre-built structures from the Vikings mod. Uh, in the last one, we built a little Vikings hut. And in the next little while, I want to kind of transition to our next uh, empire. So maybe the Roman Empire, the Babylonian, Khmer, something like that. I want to get into the next uh, step for us, right? So I, wanted, I don't want to stick with the... Vikings forever, so I think we'll use their pre-built structures here just so we can kind of tech up a little bit and then we can kind of branch out from here and start looking at the different tribes as we begin to explore the map. So that's the first thing we're going to do in this episode is we're going to place down a little bit of a base, get some tech stuff. We need a fabricator. We need power, stuff like that, right? So we're going to tech up just a little bit. I know Vikings wouldn't have that, but you know, hey, we alien Vikings, whatever you want to call them. We came from the obelisks to this crazy land, but... Before we get too far into the video, I want to remind you guys to tear up that like button if you're liking this Kabbalah series. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I've noticed that a lot of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed. So go ahead and hit that button. It's free, you know? It doesn't cost you anything. And you get to witness all of the content we have here on the channel from ARC to ARC modded to Planet Zoo, and anything else that comes in the future. So please consider doing so. We're on our road to 1,000 subscribers. At the point of this recording, we are just at the 900 subs mark. So 100 more to go to get us at that magical 1,000 number. So help us get there. Let's see what we can't craft up here. So a Thane home, home for a warrior, church, Viking lodge. Large building with multiple floors. Okay, so can I get one of these? And then let's build a home. So we made a shed at the last one. So we know what that one's like. Uh, let's see what these guys are like before I get too crazy in building here. I think I might need to move this stego, though. So let's move this big boy over here. Are you a boy? Yes, you are. Okay. All right, so I'm thinking the, the main house can go right here so which one's that that's a lodge oh my god oh my god this thing is massive oh wow i was not expecting it to be this big okay okay all right that is huge so yeah i guess let's just slap it down right there oh wow okay so let's look at what we've got here Oh, look at this. Oh, that's amazing. So you come up the steps here. Look at the detail work on this. So if you're unfamiliar, this is part of the Ecos uh, Vikings uh, mod. This is part of the Viking Empire. So with the Empire's mods, basically the what we've based this entire series around it are these viking or not the vikings the empire mods so we have the roman the viking the where is it uh babylonian the khmer 
And there's one more, the Tokugawa. And I th I'm thinking I'm missing one, like the Inca or something, I believe it is. Yeah, but there's all these different empires, and they all have their different aesthetics and buildings and stuff like that. So this is the Viking. Okay, so we got, like, room for some crafting stuff, perhaps. Maybe I can put some of my small dinos in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, how do I get up there? Maybe I got to build a ladder or something. Actually, there was a ladder in this workbench, wasn't there? Show by him. Let's see. Uh, 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 he was in their structures? Rope ladder. Here we go. Okay. Boom. Okay. So let's slap this up there and see what we got in the upstairs. Can I put it on that far side? No. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. It's literally just a little room. Oh, that's cool, though. I can put my bed up here, my gravestone and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm liking this. Okay, so let's see what other... Or what these other buildings look like then. So we have the blacksmith and the Thane home. Oh, my God. This is massive as well. Okay. Uh, we can always pick these back up. So let's just toss this down. God, that looks amazing too, doesn't it? Oh, this this mod is amazing. Yeah, so I, I wanted to use these just while we're doing the Viking stuff. And I didn't want to necessarily build another Viking-style building. You know, it doesn't really make sense. Oh, this is a cool little spot. Hmm, what can I put in here? Oh, there's another... Okay, there's an upstairs for this one as well. Awesome. Let's get another ladder then. Boom. And let's see what's upstairs. Here, I'm sure this is just another, you know, another uh, little living area. But even still. Oh, no. Cool. It's got, like, two little rooms. Ah, I didn't notice this one. Okay. So I can put two ladders. Have one here, one there. Interesting. I got myself a little balcony. Oh, yeah. This is dope. And now... We have the, bla oh my god, these things are huge. The blacksmith. Let's see what that looks like right there. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, so this is like a pre-built little stable. Heck yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> yes, buddy. Look at this. Let's park our lions in here oh man i like this a lot with the mountains in the background yep look at that look at that love it should probably put the generator in the center here okay so there's no snapping but that's okay i don't mind that wait a minute why is this not powered oh my god i didn't make an s plus version what a tool man oh my god okay oh dear converter because the fab the s plus fabricator needs to be made in the s plus crafting station that's what happened there let me just toss that there for now. Convert that. There we go. What an idiot. <laughs> okay. So with that, we've got a fabricator. I'm going to move the rest of my stuff up into the base here from down there. But I won't let you make you guys watch that. So... Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. You can see me a bit. So let me get some of this base stuff built. And I'll bring you guys when we're done. All right. All right, guys, we are back. Let me show you what I have done here. We've made a little bit of progress on the base. So right in the center here, we've got our CKF benches. We've got our generator, uh, stuff like that. And over here, this is kind of our crafting wing. So we've got the wildlife smithy. We've got our mortar and pestles, which will eventually be replaced by a chem bench once we get up to that. We got our forge smithy and fabricator over here. 
And then over here is kind of like our storage slash kitchen area. So we got water, we got a fridge to store all of our goodies in finally. Got our preserving bins cooking up some jerky. So eventually we're gonna wanna get into kibble. So these are gonna supply us with the jerky required for kibble. We have our CKF grill and we have all of our uh, bait stations for immersive taming as well as our bait cooler to keep the stuff nice and fresh. And then over here I've used the S plus crafting stations as just some simple storage. So they have a really small footprint, which is great. But if you notice, they also store 300 slots of, of items. So they're really great for early game storage. And honestly, I like them more than vaults even because it, same storage as a vault, but like a quarter of the footprint, right? So yeah, if you're looking for some nice cheap storage, S plus crafting station all the way. We also went ahead and crafted up our soul gun. And I made a soul terminal as well. So this is part of the dino storage mod. And if you're unaware of what this does, bam, I can go ahead and pick up my dinos. Oh, I need to keep those. Pick up my dinos into a cryo ball here. And now not only can I see the stats of my dinos, I can see what uh, stat got how many points and everything like that. I can also store them in my terminal. So let's go up here. I placed our terminal up here. And I can just stick them in there like that. So in addition to keeping my dinos safe from attack and stuff like that, one other thing I can do is I can go here to automation. And for some reason, my settings are gone. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to have to fix this, but basically what this terminal can do is it can collect eggs, it can create poop, it can do passive generation, so things like snails uh, generate acatina paste, uh, sheep generate wool, things like that, right? And it'll all generate it within the soul terminal so you'll be able to store poop in here if you put a dung beetle in here it'll automatically convert the poop to fertilizer and it can distribute to your crops and everything like that it's super super great and super super handy i don't know how i'm ever going to live without this mod ever again so i'm happy we got that going oh we got some fog rolling in so one thing i noticed though in building up this base part here is we are very much lacking in our stone gathering ability. Uh, gathering it by hand is just no bueno. It, it's not gonna work. The amount of stone I can gather with this hatchet is just abysmal. It, it's not gonna need meet our needs for any sort of building. So what I want to do is I, I think I've seen some dodix up in this area, some dodicarus. So, God, is this gonna let me up here? Let's find out. So I want to go up here and see if we can't find a doe dickers to tame. I've got some narco or some trank arrows and stuff crafting up. So in the near future, we will be able to trank dinos out. But for the doe dickers, if you don't have vegetables, it's a painful, painful tame. So I'm just going to go and try and tame this guy up with our uh, bait bags just because... Yeah, I don't want to be messing around with all that. Oh my god. Yep. You are going to be mine, little buddy. Come on, get knocked out. What? <laughs> what? Oh, screw you, Pego. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, I only have Tinto Berries, but that's okay. You'll eat those, right? Yeah, of course you will. Look at this little Jerboa. It's a Christmas Jerboa. Oh my god, I love Jerboas so much. Yeah. Uh, we're going to name this guy Ratfink. We used to name all of our Jerboas Ratfink in the past. And it, was, it got to be like a meme. You know, like Ratfink 1, Ratfink 2, 10. Oh, Christ. Stupid saber. Of course you would. Get him. Yeah, that's what you get, bro. Since when do sabers have bleeds? Is that that must be a part of the KBD mod, right? 
But anyways, before I saw that your bowl, what I was saying is, is I want to get some utility tames. <gasps> oh, that's a rock golem. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run away. Run, 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 run away. <laughs> oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Don't feel like dying today. Uh, yeah, so we need a... Ooh, an Anki. 85. Let's keep an eye out for a better Anki, but that guy might be a contender. I didn't realize Ankies were up here as well. Oh, we got a little tech jobby up here too. 18, poop. Uh, are you going to get angry if I attack your buddy here? All right, I got to switch back to neutral here. All right, it didn't care. I didn't think so, but yeah, so that means an Anki, a Dodic, and some form of wood gather, either like a mammoth or maybe even what a thorny dra dragon here. We did see some beavers. Wait, wait a minute. What have we found? I'll just kill these scorpions. What is this? Oh, yo, is this a treasure? Oh, this is one of those starting bags. Okay, I'll, I'll leave that alone. I don't, I don't need that. Oh man, but look at this place. Stupid snakes. I thought I heard something. All right. Sarabi didn't even need my help. All right. I thought I saw something, like, in the distance here. I didn't realize it was a whole big thing. Oh, what? It's an artifact. What? No way. Can I... Can I pick you up? Um... Hello? Uh... What? Um, okay. All right, we're just going to report that one. Yeah, so I, I would just went ahead and reported this to Dudel, Dowdell. I, I still don't know how to say his name or pro or properly. I'm sorry, mate. But, uh, yeah, basically what we can do is we can hit our command menu and type in CCC. And then upon doing that, it gives us this coordinate code here. So what that does is this coincides with the dev kit and it allows uh, mod devs to kind of get a better indication as to where something is. If you just type in coordinates, it doesn't really match up to the dev kit. So by doing that, I, we can report things to him and he can go about fixing, <laughs> fixing the things on his map, such as this. <laughs> Again, guys. Don't hold it too far, too much against the, the map, right? It, it is still a work in progress, very much so. But my goodness, just look at this. Look at this. Man, we could have built a base right here, man. Look at how awesome this is. Super cool. All right, back to the task at hand. So, Dodic. Aha, uh -huh. asking you shall receive in his Christmas colors... Level 60, of course you are. Do I just want it, though? Nah, let, let's keep looking for something a little higher level. That guy looks amazing, though. Look at this guy. This guy's a level 95, and he is amazing. Yes, absolutely, we are taming this guy. It's not the highest level, but... Oh, there's a Thylacaleo! want one not a level 20 though oh man what level are you 130 oh really why are the best colors always like lower levels all right and we got a hundred dodic okay perfect all right that'll do you know i'm happy with that so let's get you yep yep and let's get how are you? A max level Morelotops? Kind of be rude not to, right? And... Tamed. Yeah. Picky this guy up. Got him. This Dodic should be nearly done as well. And tamed. Yeah. Pick you up. Now all we got is the Morellatops. Tamed. Heck yeah, that's a max level Morellatops right there. 
All right, let's get these guys back to base. Oh yeah. So we're back at base here. Let me go ahead and get a saddle for all these guys. So we need one anchor. Boom, boom. We need one Dodicarus. And we need one more. Maybe that's done in here. Morella tops. There it is. Heck yeah. Give me that and that. Come on, any time now. There we go. All right. Toss a saddle on this big fella. Look at that. Okay, so we got 3,000 health, 600 weight. All right, that's, that's not bad. If I remember one thing about Morello Tops, though, is they need stamina. So we can use this guy just for a berry gatherer, but we got the trike. I mean, in all honesty, this guy's probably not going to get used very much, but that is okay. This little fella, on the other hand, the weight is not good. <laughs> All right, he gets a decent amount per point, though. So, anyways, we're going to get good use out of this little fella right here. And look at this. This Anki is absolutely beautiful. Oh, man, the weight is just poopy on these guys, man. I probably should have looked for a slightly higher level version of these guys. But, you know, this guy just looks cool. And <laughs> do I have to say anything else? I mean, just look at this guy. Is it a guy? You're a guy, yeah. And you are a guy as well. Okay, good. Yeah. So anyways, guys, I think... Oh, and we forgot about our little Jerboa. <sighs> little rat fink. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. What's up, rat fink? How you doing? Oh, yeah, you're just adorable. Oh, man, I loved your boa so much. Let's uh, just pump health on this guy. Make sure he stays nice and healthy. Oh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to call that an episode for today. If you're enjoying this Cabela's series, make sure to tear up that like button. Show your support for the channel. It really does help out when you hit that like button and leave your comments down below as to what you'd like to see in future episodes. I've got some plans that you guys are going to like, but let me know if there's a certain something you want us to tame or do in the game here. And other than that, make sure to subscribe. If you have made it this far in the video, you might as well subscribe. I know a lot of you guys who watch these videos are not subscribed. What are you waiting for? It's free. Just hit the button. You know, we got this series going on. We got a modded series going on. There's lots on the channel here. So hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye That is not what I meant to do. Bye bye <laughs>